In this video, we're going to talk about how to create truck logistics dashboards using PowerPoint. So why are truck logistics important? You need to know where your trucks are, your people are, and where your equipment uh, is. You need to know what trucks, people, and equipment you have available in an area for pickup. So truck logistics is very critical. You know at each moment where every piece of equipment and all your people are. Many of you are probably already using apps or programs in order to manage your truck logistics. And this is great. These are fantastic. And it's a great start to be able to uh, have that data available. Uh, using data point, however, you can pull data from multiple sources. So you might have different programs to manage things like fuel consumption. You might have different program for dispatching. You might have a different program for um, logging maintenance on trucks and things like that. So with data point, you can pull that data from each of the different sources and show it in a single PowerPoint dashboard. And since data point works with PowerPoint, you have a lot more graphic control over your output. First step is to see what data sources you already have, GPS fleet tracking, dispatch software, smartphone trucking apps, maintenance records, driving records, fuel usage, whatever, whatever information you have, figure out uh, where, where they're located and where they are in your server. With GPS tracking, you can show real-time locations of each of your trucks and where they're at. And you can also show the information as a table. So in this case, we've got each of the units numbered, uh, who the driver is, where the, what city they're in, status, are they in transit, available, picking up, loading, and the delivery date. And of course, I've included some famous famous drivers or famous you know uh, driving drivers who have been played in an acting role who you probably would not want driving your trucks. Notice one of the uh, drivers in the table is yellow. That means they're available. So you can set those kinds of rules as well. So beyond just truck locations, you can use other KPIs as well. On-time pickup delivery, cost per pound, cost per mile, fuel pricing, safety metrics, shipping error rates, sustainability, maintenance costs, driver turnover rate, which is an important uh, uh, you know, way to show if you're burning through too many drivers, what's the problem, employee satisfaction, and customer satisfaction. Now, let's just take a quick look at how I created the table here. So all I did was I just did insert table same way you would normally insert a table uh, within uh, you know PowerPoint and then what I did was I went to the new data point ribbon after installing data point and I made a connection to the Excel spreadsheet where I've got this there and you can see the data showing the Excel spreadsheet then I clicked on the table and I clicked on the table to connect it there and you can see it gives me shows me the data I set it up to start filling at row two, uh, column one, and to copy the column names over and to automatically adjust the numbers of rows and columns in case I added a new, uh, new row or column in future. Then I went to the rules section and I added a rule to set it up to be able to uh, show if the status was available that uh, that person would show up in yellow instead of the other. So that's... Um, everything I have on truck logistics for now, just a really quick sh short notice. In the comments below, if you have any questions about truck logistics dashboards or any other types of dashboards or data connections using PowerPoint, uh, please ask. And you can find out more, of course, about us at presentationpoint.com.